moment. Everything good that's happened to me has happened as a direct result of helping someone else. Everything. Mm -hmm. And I was working with this one kid who got me to be an extra. He said, let's go do this. So he signed with this place and okay. ended up going. He called me one night. said, I'm down here, man. Come down here. And trying to stay clean. And he had 108 days. And, uh, and he said, this is 1985, so cocaine was like oh, yeah. rampant. Everywhere. Like everywhere. Everybody. You know, yeah. Yeah. On movie sets, they had it. They had it on, right. You walk into a trailer. <laughs> yeah, so I've like, heard about like those the production things. here. Do this. And, <laughs> and uh, so I just went down to kind of hang out with him. And, and uh, I walked on, and i never forget, I run into this guy named Eddie Bunker. Uh -huh. And Eddie Bunker was a prolific writer, unbelievable writer, right? And, and I was in San Quentin with this guy. Man. Okay. And we looked at each other and said, what are you doing here, Danny? I said, they're going to give me 50 bucks for acting like a convict. And we both laughed because we'd been doing that for free all our lives. <laughs> yeah, right. And he goes, yeah. I said, what are you doing here? He said, I ad he had adapted the screenplay. He was a writer, right? Oh, very cool. And, uh, and he said, Danny, are you still boxing? Because he saw me win the lightweight. Yeah, the welterweight title. Uh -huh. Quentin. I go, hell no, I'm 40 years old. Yeah. I trained, you know. <laughs> I don't can't get hit in the head no more. Yeah, and for sure. He says, uh, we need somebody to train one of the actors how to box. And uh, I said, what's the pick? They were giving me $50 for acting like a convict. And he says, three twenty a day. Great cash. And when he said that, <laughs> I said, how bad do you want this guy beat up? Yeah, I thought, <laughs> yeah. No, I thought he was mad and wanted to kick somebody's ass. Like, Shit, I'd, I'd have done it for another 50 bucks. Right. And... Uh, <laughs> I started training Eric Roberts how to box. For That's a movie awesome. Called Runaway Train. That That's awesome. awesome. And Andre Kajalowski asked Eric, and Eric said, "Yeah, yeah, let's, I'll fight him. I'll fight him," because I was showing him how to box. And so Andre is never. I never get it. Andre comes up and says, "You be in Russian Aristocrat, his first gotcha. movie in in America. Mm -hmm. You be in movie." You fight Eric in movie, and you be my friend. And he said that. <laughs> well, if you got a prison background, you don't like people saying, yeah, you yeah, be my friend. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for what sure. the fuck does that mean? You know I mean? Yeah. And uh, I looked at him, and he kissed me on one cheek, kissed me on the other and walked away. I remember telling Eddie, Eddie, look, I'm going to train the kid for 320, <laughs> but if I got to kiss that old man, you better give me more money. <laughs> and Eric, yeah. Eddie said, no, no, he's European. You know, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know they kissed. Like, I don't know and about so that. Yeah. He says, he said, wait, when you realize what that old man did for you right now, you'll come and wash his back. I swear yeah. to God, I would have. When he gave me that SAG card, my oh, whole yeah, life man. changed. I'm sure. My whole and even life. nowadays for new actors, like that SAG card is the ticket but in. But still. The mm, ticket in. Un you know what? It's like so unreal. It's like. I went from it, hey, you, to Mr. Trejo, would you like some coffee? I mean, just, right. What? I couldn't believe it. Yeah. The Black Oxygen Inspiration Podcast is sponsored by Black Oxygen Bang & Barbecue Sauce. Makes your taste buds sing. Order it now at blackoxygenmusic.com. Don't barbecue without this. <laughs> Much love.